So you know how slot efficient uh, you can be uh, Juggernaut Semenos just gets really powerful units. really fast and he still has a pretty decent matchup here versus Templar Assassin actually so that is Aaron's going to be Spirit with a refraction back up he can see us with confidence under the tower but a bit spicy there for him and his first blood is down bottom onto the timber saw they will catch him uh, and that is no points in split earth here actually simply just playing so and that is usually the turning point, at least for as far as the harass is concerned, right? For Timbersaw, that second point into the reactive armor. Uh, and Gremlo is going to take it out of top left. lane. As uh, here for Arkosh, that's what they're investing the space in. A, a tough lay uh, matchup for Gremlo top as well. Right along Rudy, yeah. uh, over in the mid lane, where he is, seems to be in a bit of trouble here. They get through the refraction, uh, but he turns back, ready to fight Nico. Uh, the auto attacks out from Afro, not going to be nearly enough damage, as there's Gremlo dying yet again in this top lane. Leap charges out from Crow as he's hoping to trade away uh, for Empyrean. And it looks like, ooh, with all the healing, no, they've kited out Crow nicely. There's not enough mana, though, uh, for the Lich, or rather... With Axe Punts, and there's an Axe in the game, but there isn't, so please. This whirling Axes, there's two of them. The wild, pardon me, how dare I make that mistake. Mid lane, Hit. though, and it's going to be a pretty decent dodge. Just Red 2, unfortunately, unable to outrun Rudy, who is buffed by the Hastron. But dodging, weaving in beside the trees, he will still fall. As Aphromoosh looks to stun onto Monkey instead, he will find himself likely sliced to dice by Rudy as well. Only throwing the Phantom, which will offer well, very little resistance, Rudy. Creep wave, he just makes himself a solo target for this Lesh. Traps being applied as they skirmish over the power root, which does spawn bottom. Ooh. Nico's gonna go in though, buffed by the X roll. They get to do the refraction charges, the fear, sinister gaze, and they've got the kill here. Nico even avoiding the arrow that was sailing through from Crow. Pale Horse rotating on in with his swift move speed, trying to catch up, only finds the Lich. Kill secured by Monkey. And that is going to be then the mid laner, Rudy, going down in exchange only for the position five. Pale Horse broken by the creeps. All of his zeros. A very hopeful chain for us. Not a single bounce from Empyrean. He laughs to himself, Aaron, as well. All he can do is smile through the pain here. Plenty of it. Full Snova active. That's going to be an easy kill. Afro, quick silence there, shutting up the freezing field as Aaron going back in. They still have to get the kill into Afro Moosh, though, thanks to Gremlo. But Pale Horse has been caught behind the tower with Red 2 rotating over. That'll be an easy kill onto Monkey as well. Not before the Frostbite comes out at the very least, as Crow diving underneath the tower. Is, uh, attempting to evade death in the trees, however, versus the timber saw, his cover is quickly torn apart. And oh, a kill not yet going the way of anyone. Crow, not really anywhere for him to go, however, me. so we'll still be cut down. Max level is huge for this hero, especially without sacrifice. He's got mana problems. Uh, so being able to mm -hmm. spam this actually, as well as not having to simply buy cells for your core all game, top. means you actually get to play a little yep. bit of Dota on the hero. As a result, however, Monkey, who does tank a gank here very nicely, uh, is uh, as a result, however, he's going to have less points naturally in this Frost Shield. So it's not quite up to 70% physical damage block yet. Gremlo is going to be caught out here. Arrow stacking the stunts onto the Timber Saw. Uh, but it won't save Gremlo, who will still fall. Buffed, I would say 5% on that bonus lifesteal is, is really good. Uh, yes. So. Absolutely excellent. So, Lesh buffed in multiple ways. Indeed. Does Roche get affected by. Yes, he does, by a Wraith's reprisal. Uh, ooh, Nico thought about jumping in, but held in place by the Frostbite into the arrow as ooh. well. That's going to be the freezing field by Monkey with the shard. He's able to walk on in and do even more damage with the Chain Frost bouncing around. Will delete Arkot Fail Horse. The buyback now alongside Crow as Aaron, who used the Omni earlier, cannot go in any further. And now, in fact, he's going to end up dropping. Paradise trying his best to at least cut through Gremlo. He's got the Chakram on top, but Rudy is in on Empyrean. That'll be a kill onto him. Nico has bought back, thinking about going back on in, but can do nothing to save the life of Paradise. That's going to be another buyback, though, out from the Lich without a chain cross. Then when Aaron moves up towards the high ground, the Lich can't actually protect him from a TA hitting into him from the high ground. Oh. And the Jug has not enough stats. Been a big catch on the ground. So he's going to turn, actually. He uses the dive bomb. He's going to roar. And now he's going to go ahead and link up quite literally with Rudy. They are soul-binded. 
The race for Fries was giving them cover, however, and no more char uh, charges ready to go. Actually, for Nico, he's in trouble. He does actually have Disseminate as well as one Astral Step remaining. He's got another one ready in a second, Monkey but Monkey's blood. pumping in the magic damage, and Rudy with the physical, they will cut through Nico. That is a dieback, a regular kill there onto the Lich as Afro is scattered to the winds, and they've caught Paradise completely isolated, alone, and killed off. Arkosh will turn that around. Basically in fighting shape for Arkosh. BKB check. It's looking pretty good for Rudy as they didn't force it out in the previous fight, so he still has it. Should he need it? Nico running in. That'll trigger at least the first charge, but it's going to be the double chain frost against the BKB target. Not going to do much. It'll loop through Crow at the very least as Rudy will blink on back. Paradise giving chase to Monkey, who's going to turn with a freezing field. Cast the frostbite. Okay. That'll be a kill there onto the offlaner. Another jump in here from Red 2. He's going to focus down onto Monkey. Gets the kill. Gremlo in trouble as Rudy is turning back, back to the fight. Backup. Has no no BKB, but the Blink Dagger is in. As now Pale Horse running in. He's going to actually tank that Aether Remnant. Um, Yule Scepter, though, will save him for now. As Gremlo, uh, uh, pardon me, Rudy is going to focus down onto the Ice Spire. That's going to be the new shard for Lich while he holds down. But Pale Horse simply gets jumped. That's only the first life, only the Aegis as Aaron has Omni Slash. Probably not going to use it just for Monkey, as the spin will do the trick. Rick, Monkey with some clever footwork though Ooh. in the trees remains alive. As they will chase down Aaron. The frostbite is going to be manted off, but it's still an easy kill for Pale Horde. As in this case here, as they smoke up and will look for Afro, who is going to turn with a Soulbind onto two. Empyrean running up here for the double chain frost, but they're not going to get a bounce thanks to the Yule Scepter of Pale Horse. They bounce onto the back lines, which forces away a couple of heroes and onto the so Ice Fire that actually will get the kill onto Pale Horse. As Rudy BK beat up, I think canceled, no, did not cancel the TP there. Uh, it's going to be able to at least get a kill onto the Lich, but his BKB now expiring. He's got still a couple of refraction charges up, going for the TP out, and will be able to make it out in time. Aaron, without enough physical damage here uh, to get the kill. On the buyback immediately, Pale Horse does catch wind of him. Oh, my oh camera boy. is going crazy here as Empyrean is going to try and at least get a kill on the Pale Horse, but it'll be a quick dieback for him. Good magic damage, at least, thanks to the Spire, but it will end eventually. Over in the river, we find a stunned Paradise here. He's being locked down into the freezing field, but Gremlo jumped by Aaron, and actually now Crow in trouble as well. Aaron is going to be forced to run. Pale Horse slow to a crawl by a great soul. Uh, a, a great, pardon me, stroke of fate, which catches three. Quick little arrow onto Aaron into the splitter. It means that nice. the Soulbind doesn't, or sorry, the Ink Soul doesn't catch anyone, oh, but it no. does dispel, and that's a great Omni Slash, which ends up bouncing back towards the Pale Horus. Rudy kited around this entire fight, finally finds the kill onto Afro, but he's going to be in some trouble here. Taunted up, no refraction charges up, and he is going to die. As two based, end up managing to come out on top in this fight with another kill on Crow Could end up being a team wipe here, Kips, even. As Monkey yeah, running for his life, has BKB, Aaron giving chase. But I suspect this is a very dead maiden. Yeah, surely you don't pop it. Oh? Oh, he does? Okay. Values I don't know if that saves him. Nope, no. Nope. doesn't save. <laughs> yeah, uh, whoopsie. It's about the threat of the ult as much as it's about the ult, though, isn't it? Uh, and he's going to be tanking yet another smoke. Has his ultimate, has BKB leashed up. He once again will at least root through red two, but Crow uh, and Monkey pulling at the seams here of a rubber band as they will both end up likely dying. Only one buyback ready, and it's for Monkey, who did use his BKB. 90 second cooldown now on that thing. Plus the extra cast on the axes. It's not much, but it does add up those stacks. Dive ball. Yep. Gremlo does not have BKB, so he's in on the first life. Had a BKB in five more seconds on the refresh, but he's going to be cut down. Monkey trying to let it go with the ulti. Not going to do anything against Red 2, who is BKB'd, and that's going to allow Aaron to get the dieback kill here onto Crow. That's both supports now dead. Without buyback, Gremlo has bought back here. Blistered by this Aegis for another minute for them to try and threaten for the Megas. There is uh, at least a Fortify at the ready. Pelorus as well, getting ready to go here with the Splitter, starting to stack up. But uh, Aaron is not going to die quite that easily, especially with the Frost Shield up. 
time. Not enough physical damage could have been dealt. But the magic certainly starting to act up as now Nico does go in. He finds the kill here on to Pale Horse. Or does he? Oh, yes, Pale he Horse? does. That's Omni Slash used, though, just to secure it. But Pale Horse has the buyback. Gremlo is going to end up roaring himself now onto Paradise. But it's good at least enough for Monkey to secure the kill with the freezing field. They've at least gotten through the first life of the Juggernaut as well as Nico continuing to stomp people on the back lines. I fight the camera now as we move on over to Aaron, Oof. who's barely alive. Rudy doing a good job focusing him down. Crow as well giving chase. Could not cancel the blink dagger. The blind arrow not quite going to catch. The Aegis gets taken down by Rudy. Crow oh, arrows Rudy. Aaron as soon as he comes out. Rudy oh, doesn't no. have, he, he did have BKB, just couldn't get it oh, off in time. Here? The Hex, he's in trouble. Leashed up. Well, now BKB's away, but they've gotten through his refraction charge. There's more refractions here in a Gah. second, and he does get it up, but the blink dagger, is it going to be canceled? Yes, it is. His buyback, though, will be forced to use it. In the meantime, though, Pale Horse cuts through the backline supports. That's diebacks on both of them, if I'm not mistaken. So not bad moves from Arkosh in exchange, as it seems like. And in fact, they might fight over it. Pale Horse giving pause here. Oh, Nico, though, the Lincoln Sphere is uh, not going to be broken there by Pale Horse. I, I, this is new, I think. I'm not sure if they quite scouted it. TA Trap silences, though. Does allow Rudy to close the gap. Nice little... Uh, it's not Wind Waker, Storm Crafter here. Allows Nico to get out, but they know he's in the vicinity because of the Marana Ag Scepter. It's going to be Pale Horse caught, though. Uh, for now, A-OK -okay as they turn and focus onto Paradise. He bought back earlier. Cheese not going to yeah, do much thanks to the back. vessel. So this is going to widen that window. Seemingly going to be able to pick up the Megas. Rudy's being a bit of trouble here. The Force have immediately dispelled, but there's going to be the roar number one from Gremlo. He's got another one here in just a second, and they do have it. Oh, they secure boy. the kill, but with buyback ready to go is going to be Aaron. A good double Sinister Gaze here. Pulls in Pale Horse as well as Monkey a bit too deep, and now the Omni Slash. Oh, it bounces over to the Maiden. I'm not sure if that's enough to save Pale Horse. As with the magic damage, the E-Blade's not going to save him. Gremlo now needing to run for his life, as at least Monkey has bought back. Still in the base is Rudy, trying to probe from the side. He's going to not be able to TP away. They catch him with the scythe, the vice, and now hexed up, feared, well, he's killed. It's going to be an advantage back to two based. Oh boy, and yet they, they can just go straight down mid now, I don't. Back in the base is the timber. He might be ready to stop anyone who goes for the split push. But right now, two base looking for the objective. Gremlo making the jump in immediately. Hex had the BKB, could not they get it him? off. Silence now. BKB is out. Monkey doing good damage. They got through the juggernaut. So potentially still a way back in this game for Arkosh Gaming. So the camera does not want us to see the poor maiden dying. But now thrown exposed. Nico avoiding the stun. It puts Paradise in trouble, however. As he is forced back. Thrown still? here exposed, but Arkosh holding for now, but there's the jump onto Crow with the Scythe of Vice. That'll be a kill onto him. He's got buyback though, and now Gremlo letting it go with the axes, trying his best here to prevent this game from going the way towards two base. For now, the desperate hold from Arkosh seems to be holding as Paradise makes Did it alive by it? the skin of his teeth within the invis. He makes it out that last little part. Back for five minutes. Rudy as well, now back alive. One set of barracks remaining, three versus four scenario for two based. Arkosh have pushed him back with worse odds. But what if two based have left in the tank? They've at least got this soul bind, the double sight device, but Gremlo is going to free BKB, make the jump in. 30 second cooldown on the roar as Paradise in a lot of trouble. Does get dispelled there by the Inkswell uh, shard as Nico stunning the backliners but unable to get off any kills. Empyrean now left alive as Paradise is going to end up dying. He's dead without buyback now for 100 seconds. They will cut through Gremlo still without buyback for him. And Nico BKB is going to be able to side shrug that arrow. Edict, though. Now the Level damage 30. to the structure is going to be a bit too high, but they have for the Frost Shield now onto the Ancient. That's going to prevent a lot of this damage, but Nico does not have nearly enough of the damage to get through to Rudy. Pale Horse, though, simply ends the game too fast. He's out of this one. Arkosh Gaming, it's a long Oof. one. It's back and forth. It's entertaining. And for them, it's going to be a victory in game one. Uh, but you've got three big spells that pierce magic immunity. Four, I would say. Uh, Ench, right? Uh, Ench Impetus, Black Hole, uh, Midnight Pulse, uh, the Reaper Scythe, and of course these uh, spooky, scary ghosts uh, from to fight into this team. But but now it seems like a good time with a five-man smoke breaking onto who else but Pale Horse. I expect some tips from Arkosh <laughs> onto Pale Horse potentially. No, not quite. Okay. Oh, not this time. This time. Do with that. Mm. Now he could be well, in trouble. Get slapped around a bit. Yep, double stun and he gets body blocks from paradise. Good heal out from Pale Horse. It's not going to be enough though, as uh, even if that sword did.
independent laner after he gets a couple of levels, it's not unlikely that the Ench will ditch him. Well, Monkey's gonna end up putting down this ward. Nice point here in the nature of Ascendance does actually allow him to win right, these trades easily with Afro, who is going to require an extra auto attack, allows him to get off at least his own auto attack, so he trades himself away. Uh, experience, though, to pale. Lose all those stacks and not have any mana to refresh him, really. At least we'll throw out another stun. That's the last one. They're going to make a play now for Pale Horse. Two points in the Heartstopper aura. Pale Horse really loves E. It's his favorite letter. and He maxes the E ability on every <laughs> hero. Afro, careful here. Fairy Fire allows him to trade. A little bit more mana. He's still at the seven Get stacks. It. As Crow gets a kill mid lane onto Nico. We'll ride here oh, as Monkey so is going to fall. The last ride of the Monkey. Pale Horse is going to be okay. That's going to leave Gremlo completely isolated top, where he's going to be mostly okay. It seems like they're going to set up for a quick kill onto the Lina. Nice little hurricane up to the high ground, courtesy of Monkey. That actually, no. Could have been a problem. But again, without level 6 here on Nico, it's very easy. In fact, they kill all, almost three cores. It's a quick kill top lane. Gremlo just strung that together. The team smoking into the triangle at this time of the game with both of these tier 1s down. Like, you've highlighted Arkosh smoke in the enemy triangle yep. to gank Nico. He's in a bit of a rough spot. Put the Reaper Scythe out, the full vessel. No chance he makes it out alive. And Monkey's even setting up for a kill underneath the tower. I don't know if Arkosh go dive in here. Crow, he's thinking about it. Rebound up in two seconds. Yep. Monkey now with the enchant slow. He's going to make the play. That is a kill. Out from the smoke. At least yeah. finally has Maelstrom, but... Can, can they fight at least a little bit here on, on this uh, link? Sorry, not Lincoln's uh, Diffusal Blade. Actually. I'm not sure, especially not if Nico dies no, here. No, especially not. That's silence. And that's going to knock him back a, a, a couple, you know, a, a, an additional 30 seconds or so, really. That's especially been has been that his wave clear does put him out of position, much like a Sand King Dyer's using Burrow Strike to wave to clear waves. Um, and that has been problematic when the black hole is, <laughs> is the answer to you. Okay, here we go. Soulbind nice, into now red two. They need to continue locking down Rudy, and they have no chance for a black hole. And it seems like Crow will end up dropping next. As finally, Nico is going to be able to connect here on the Rolling Thunder. Arkosh continuing to fight and play into this one. Pale Horse is going to go for a cheeky little kill here yet again onto Crow. But Aaron is in, has 21 charges, but he's going to be silenced up immediately. And he's taken down fast with the Vestal debuff applied. He ends up going down before the Omni Slash can come through. They have still a kill, however, onto Pale Horse. Gremlo and Monkey, the only two members fighting alive still uh, for Arkosh, wanting this kill onto Aphromoosh, going pretty far, in fact. And that's a huge. Huge swashbuckle nice. there with the Diffusal Blade online. No way to cancel the TAP, but it's just Monkey, the position five, who makes it out alive of this fight here for Arkosh Gaming. They do fortunate for him to be certain. There's still a ward up here in the triangle, and Paradise being slowed to a crawl, body blocked even there by the Seder Tormentor, as Monkey receiving a tip from Rudy, creating so much space, being incredibly annoying on the position five. Wow. Picks up the kill, maxed impetus now uh, alongside the Enchant. Just now he's in trouble. Oh, yeah, he is. Rudy as well. Closes the gap with the Blink Dagger that he's purchased. Orchid as well applied. No Manta yet. Only dreams of a Manta style. Is even oh, <laughs> wow, Gremlo. Getting up to no good. Gremlo casually getting a triple kill. 1v3. This time the Arkosh wall of tips are for him. So he takes down out from the creep wave. He goes, and now Arkosh Gaming looking for revenge. Rudy TP in all oh, Monka. Let's get out of here, Paradise. He'll make it out alive. As actually, it's Nico, I believe, who may have canceled that TP. Is there going to be another black hole for him? Rudy doesn't need to do it, so he won't. Mm -mm. He'll conserve the black hole for use at a later date. It's a <laughs> rebound again. Look at Monkey go. Look at Monkey go. 4 6 3 move speed. He's coming around. Unfortunately, he's ran right into Paradise, who cannot auto attack him more than once. But Crow is going to die. Nico. Using the Rolling Thunder for that, and they have held down now Monkey long enough for him to be closed up on. Arkosh, though, still interested, still keen to take a 5v3 fight. They've got this black hole, Force Multiplier. That Seeker. And uh, at least it's a kill on Zampyrian. Not much more, though, for now. Point where two base are, are fully back in this game. Mm, it's quite a ways oh, off still. That's a good ward, though, Gremlo. Oh, they got him. Yep, Elder Dragon form got use. Good. He did not get anyone as well with a Spirit Siphon. That'll be the death of him. However, Arkosh coming from behind. They might be able to get a couple of heroes in return as now they're the ones 
that's got vision here. Afro is not going to die to that Reaper Sight. The first of many that's going to miss, and actually oh, a big roll in Thunder. Afro Red 2. Down goes Pale Horse, only on his first life. Rudy is back alive. He's TP to the Tier 1 tower. He's now incoming, he but they've it? lost vision around this area. In fact, it's two base that have got the wards up here. So if Rudy wants to try and sneak up on him, it's going to be a bit more difficult with the Blink Dagger, with the BKB, fully scouted, in with the Black Hole. He only catches Aaron, but Pale Horse is still going down. Nico gets the kill. Aaron's alive, manages to live through the Black Hole. The Orchid Burn, is it enough? It is, but it's a full team wipe in exchange for entire enemy team. Paradise thinking about going back in. Lena would buy back off of this. Aaron, and will they make the jump? Rudy is going to be the target. Paradise will find him the stun. Oh, yeah. Aaron in with the Omni Slash, a thing of beauty. Rudy, he gets off the BKB, but he dies to the level three Omni Slash of Aaron. Pale Horse stuck on the high ground. Laguna Blade, he is not going to be enough to kill him, but Red 2 holding back everyone else with the Rolling Thunder, forcing them back from the high ground as two base give chase. The double buyback up from them. They hold on, they defend the high ground. But you know, they, they can definitely wipe them, but they'd, they'd have to actually take a bad fight on two base, and they're not looking Oh, this is not a good one either. The double go to play. The damage. Red 2 deletes two, but Rudy with the BKB finds the black hole. Aaron on the way on in, and Rudy Boom. does not get a single kill with this. In fact, the bash on the pale horse, he gets off no abilities. Monkey, the lone survivor, hiding under the cover of uh, the Glimmer Cape. But the damage is done. A full team wipe, and now... Hits the healing ward and backs away. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the good news Ash? is that even though it... Ash. Oh, oh grab low. Grab low. Okay, they whiffed real hard there on the... Uh yeah, on, on the swashbuckle, but it's not going to matter, of course, because, again, now that Afro has got himself this, this Aether lens, I might. Now, regardless... Uh, I mean, they, f they felt the timer taken, though. And I suppose for good reason, as they have not fought a fight win since. That's going to be a quick kill on the Krug. Let me bop back. Nice. That'll be a dieback. Rudy, he's in. Here's damage from Monkey. Will it suffice for the kill onto the DK? Surely with Pale Horse to follow up, it will. But Red 2 looking for more. Only finds a second black hole of Rudy as he stares into the abyss. They need more damage still, though, as Rudy will fall. And Nico getting all the stuns he needs died. onto Pale Horse. The rest of now 2 base will close the door, slamming it shut onto Arkosh as only the DK is to fall. And now following him, the Grimstroke. Not going to matter much, though, as it's still a full team wipe for Arkosh. A little bit of a roll up. He's revving the engine, so to speak. But right. these gas prices, no. He's going on in. He can't afford to rev it too much and wants to get out of this game here. Pale Horse is absolutely wow. and 100% deleted. But sent back to the Dota 2 main menu for 152 seconds. And he's going to call it GG well played. <laughs> Arkosh Gaming with a very early, very experimental, all up in your face draft. The two based will sustain. Yeah, and this this is this is exactly the trouble that I ran into with Vega when we tried out these lineups for the first time. You very quickly discovered that you have to get heroes that change into an. It's to see it, to be honest. Yeah, I am, I'm not gonna budge. You're not gonna budge on the pudge, and neither will Arkash, uh... baby. There it is. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, and it's Rudy. It is so a Rudy. So Horse takes a bow. A pull. That's a rough start to the laning stage for her. That is a very At rough the start. very least, though, Aphromush is gonna get this kill. Uh... Last auto attack. That's not enough. Oh, just barely oh. not enough. And then he had fairy fire, dude. Monkey didn't even didn't even flinch. Ah. And uh, well, Afro is gonna reveal his ward. Look, you bring a hero into a position where he has never been before without you having to be out of position either. And there's Aaron getting a kill top lane. Good trading overall. Empyrean on the run. There's the wand pops. So Gremlo wanting to commit for this kill. Maybe. Um, will ramp up. Very nice of, as well for entire team. Uh, Rudy is getting pressured. Yeah, Rudy maybe even being killed. He's got hook. Pure damage onto Nico. Red 2 picks up the kill though. As he's able to die, facilitating the use of the creep wave. But down bottom, there's action. And this is Pale Horse getting a double. No, not getting a double kill. Pardon me. Uh, no points in take aim. Forgot this is the build he likes to go for. 2 2 0. A little bit of a lane dominator. Lane to dive under tower. It triggers a TP at the least. And Hook is going to connect. Oh, cookie stun. They gave it a good effort there. 
That's one of those plays that you need to pre-cast though, and they did not do so, allowing Nico. No, he's gonna actually get eaten. They can't interrupt it because they've already used the stun, but they still have plenty of HP remaining on Nico. That's gonna trigger now a third TP over to the mid lane as Crow uses the one stick charge he had to stay alive. It's Gremlo cutting through the trees with the axe as Afro going in deep. Side himself stunned by Aikoki into the roar now, but it's Nico who secures the kill as he TPs now next to the tier two tower. Afro might end up getting away He's with this speedy. one. He is, she is very speedy here on the Lina. Gremlin's got enough mana here for one more throw of the axes, <laughs> and that's actually not going to be enough damage onto Afro. In fact, they look to turn. Nico's back from his trip to the fountain. Full oh, HP and mana as Rudy is going to start eating this Crystal Maiden. Seems like he'll at least be able to get a full meal out of that one. Finally, with a kill onto the Pudge, the first of hopefully many for him. Fluff, Flesh Heap stacks. A great hook there onto the Lina. The LSA comes through. He gets the kill flesh heap stack number two as Nico still fighting in this mid lane is going to start getting peeped by Pale Horse who runs over on Sniper from the bottom lane. Nico out of mana, running out of life. Oh, a very nice dodge there. Gets off a bottle sip, cancelled early. Pale Horse still giving chase. And I think Nico makes it out alive here. Oh, Pale Horse. He has 20 seconds left on his TP. Oh, good job. Uh, but, but that's more than shrapnel. It, yeah. It gets in action right now, it seems. I think there's a blink coming to Paradise right now. They're not going to need it for their simple kill on some clockwork. Not uh, the worst outcome here for Arkash Gaming, who otherwise now trapped but two hurts, inside though. the cog. Oh, the hook's just a bit slow, unfortunately. From Rudy, couldn't quite catch him in effect. Now he's going to be torn apart. Nico looking for the godlike streak. Is going to get it there. Beyond godlike on a double kill. Go. Almost getting the third. 10, 0, and 2 now. Looking for an additional. There's his 11th <laughs> of the game well before 15 minutes in. Paradise giving chase. Will sacrifice his life and limb here for the kill on the Crow. Not even needed to do so as he turns around and avoids the kill. That's an ultra kill for Nico, his 12th kill of this game. Apply here the armor shred here. So it seems like Arkash will be left to their own devices, which will be Aegis number one into the hands of likely Pale Horse. Yeah, it should be. Good vision set up. They're going to look to punish immediately. Breathe Fire does catch Pale Horse. Those damage outputs severely limited now as Kiss is raining down. Are going to force back Paradise, but they got what they came for. You know, if it means sacrificing the absorbs, the skill shots uh, from Arkosh to be able to win these fights. And it's actually Pale Horse who breaks the smoke. Uh, he is trying to slow Nico, but can't do really much to save the sniper. So instead, Hookshot is reserved for the Maiden. Furion not yet quite killed, though, and in fact might live inside the cogs as the team fight falling apart in the back lines thanks to the jump of Paradise. Nico as well doing the damage as Pale Horse falls on his first life. The buyback is there, but Empyrean getting off the ulti, really letting it go. Arkosh, oh, Gremlo nearly out of range, but it's going to be cleaved down by the dagger. He will fall. Crow having bought back, trying to get through Paradise, but all that bonus armor on the Dragon's Blood, all the plot armor, I should say, keeping him alive. And this seems to be Kibbles a dieback. And in fact, with the kill going to Snapfire being the last one, in fact, is going to be pretty happy with his performance so far this game. And in fact, so much so that they're going to go right back on in where they still have vision here. Monkey killed off before he can get the D ward, making this fight likely untenable for Gremlo, who is going to not be able wow. to even get off the roar. Nico playing well around that. And now that frees up for the kill onto the sniper. A good hook will finally connect onto Pale Horse, right back down into the LSA. Now in trouble is Rudy, completely permasun, could not even activate the flesh heap active. Oh, and this one. You know, it's looking like a reversal yeah. of game one, or sorry, a parting where you he, go god like more than once. He is electric. Oh, he is electric. Oh, it just blinks and on the sniper. And there's Pale of Horus. And uh, this one's going to be taken out behind the barn. And oh, he's not coming back from that one. Down he goes. Two dead just like that. Oh, oh. is going to hit. They don't have an immediate interrupt either. That's a big dismember underneath the tower, but the team fight still not going too well. They've trapped Aaron inside. Gremlo this time, he's going to get off the roar as they do cancel the freezing field with the damage. Another hook, Aaron almost getting caught by that one, but has the Phantom Strike away thanks to Nico, who is actually out of remnants here, Kips. That's a scatter blast for yep. the slow. Uh, you know, you got to be in range for the stun, and Pale Horse is going to get hit by the cleave of that dagger and go, actually, maybe not, guys. I think I want to go farm top, but he is farming, Kips, still under a ward. Yeah, I I wonder if they want to go for that. Inherently imbalanced in the fact that there is no counterplay. Crow having a fun time this game. They know that they're coming. The smoke is here. This one more clearly telegraphed than most smoke ganks. 
thanks to the all chat, and it looks like Maiden will be eaten alive by Rudy. Stunned up though immediately as follow up, and there's already Pale Horse dead. Dismember canceled as well. They're trying to get through Paradise, and it seems like they'll do that. At least it's a two, a three for two make that. But buybacks are now coming through as Crow is cut down before the cookie could even connect. Afro as well is going to live through the punch damage, even getting broken. <laughs> that is a white mm -hmm. once again here in favor of two base, and that one just could be the last. Nico. Yeah, Aaron didn't even pop his BKB in that fight. Actually, I wanted to say obviously, but that's not obvious at all. Another hook. Okay. Oh, yeah, the same as instant. Rudy at least gets off his damage and resistance. He's living a while, uh, but not going to be too much longer as he's used up, sent back down, and dropped. Pale Horse, the last one to go. Aaron, not even going to die, not even going to lose this Aegis. All five dead here from Arkosh, but they never throw in the towel. They never quit. They're going to give it their all kips here. Cause that's going to be a respawn. Aegis is deleted. Nice, Monkey, however, is suit to follow suit. And there's Yuji. Now as Arkash throw in the towel. And it's going to be the 2-1 victory for simply two base. Yeah, the very deserved was mean to come back in, uh, in game two to hear the Nico going off. Like, nobody's business. Like, it... it... <laughs> Right. Trinkets.